How much do you survive off of a month? I can make it off a hundred dollars a month. How many of you have one? Which direction you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> oh my what do you fellas think about white privilege? Hello, folks. I'm Tommy G. Welcome to Kentucky. That's a good question. <laughs> It feels like it's about to no. Everybody's leaving the can because it don't offer nothing here. She's just like banging around up there. The United States has long been known as one of the world's financial superpowers. But here, in 2023, a lot of Americans are struggling. 61% of the country Yo, America is, is, a, is a wild place. Leaving many to question if the American dream it. still exists. How many Americans <laughs> have been crazy feeling place, encapsulated man. in the number one song in the country? The rich men of North Richmond. Working all day, overtime hours, bullshit pay. Today, Thanks. we head to the poorest county in America, McCreary County. Went to McCreary Damn. County, where leaders say they're down thousands of dollars. Damn, thousands? See what life is like Jeez. and how people are living. This is a place with extreme poverty. They gotta clean it up, though. I'm not gonna lie. You might be out on money, but nigga, wash your ass, clean your crib. Uh, if it is a little dirty, uh, it's, if it's clothes, okay. Still clean it up. But look, nigga, don't we, you, you let your house get to that, nigga? It's terrible. It's nasty, nigga. Clean. Many people struggling to survive as prices continue to rise. First, we touch down with local resident Landon, who greets us bearing arms. Oh, well, I got them cowboy boots. <laughs> Part of the mission of the channel is to explore and get the stories of people from every walk of life. We're here in one of the poorest counties in America. Thing, According to USA right Today, the poorest in America, poorest in Kentucky. We want to see how people live. The purpose of this channel is to platform people's stories that maybe don't get to tell it too much. So whether it's going to the hood or underground Las Vegas or to the poorest county in America, we want to speak to people, see what they have to say. First stop, meeting with our contact, land. This is the area that showing up to the wrong door can get someone shot. Yeah, facts man. living in place like doing? that, nigga. Then all right, you gotta where be are you right now? Middle of nowhere. Oh, that's the really, that's the gun. <laughs> nigga just <laughs> got the stick on him. A pair of jeans. Well, you can wear the jeans too. Is it known in the town hey, like boy, the reputation of being the poorest county in America? Everybody about. knows we're poor. I don't know if like everybody knows we're the top, but I've heard people talk about being the top poorest. What goes to your mind when you hear that? Oh, I don't really care. I mean, it is what it is. I don't want to live here my whole life like these fucks, so it ain't my problem. Shit, at least what do you do? Hey, man, man what y'all well, think his other uh, perspective on life is? What, what do y'all think he want to do to get himself out of that property that he's stuck in? Because he knows that he's a poor guy in one of the poorest countries in america but he he won't change his life somewhere down the line but how do y'all think he gonna change his life it's a great Working question at walmart until i go back to college okay other than that not much oh he's going to college okay 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 7.5 damn 7 they still ain't seven god damn i ain't never made seven dollars an hour in my life my first job i at least made like nine dollars then it eventually went up to like 10 or 11 but seven in 2023 Damn! 14 just going to Walmart. Nice. But it's like 30 minutes away. Where's some lingo? That ain't bad. You ain't lying. Man after sentence is big too. Come on, man. Like that. Like, man, come on. What are you doing, man? <laughs> man. Should we go shooting? Yeah, we're going to go shoot. Okay. Hold on. You want to talk to the dude I'm filming the YouTube well, video shoot. with? He's a net. What's up, brother? We're just about to shoot, and then I think we're coming by. How far are you from the shooting range? Should we just go to his backyard? Nigga, they don't need no shooting you range. They your backyard right range. now? Let's do it. That boy say that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Niggas in the stinks, man. I'm Tommy. Hey, I know Greenville is a big country. I wouldn't say we country. Most people would say we country. I look at us as southern, but eh, each is on. However you look at it, you look at it. But look, I know we we damn near close to country, cause nigga, look how I just said damn near. <laughs> Shit me, goddamn Chuck, what the fuck type shit. But look, uh, 
Nigga, we got hella trailers. Hella trailer parks in Greenville. It's crazy. I'm kidding. We got some trailers that look like nations. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drink is big around here, too. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, drinking is big oh, area. Safety is on. Can you go first? They got some big boy bullies. Damn. Woo. Oh, power. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think the about white privilege? privilege? There are some people that say like, oh, if you're white, life is just you know, easy. I ain't gonna lie. I used to uh, grow up thinking white privilege was a thing until I moved to Baltimore and I grew up in the hood and I, and I grew up around some white people that was living in poverty just like we was. And I was like, damn, shit, maybe it ain't no such thing as white privilege. Not everybody, at least some of these people, they got it. But some of them, they just ain't got it. No matter what, basically. I will say it is a little easier. Cops and shit, it's probably yeah. easier. What's the most common job? Yeah, it's easy on that side. Oh, man, man. What happens at a sawmill? Lumber, yeah. Cutting lumber. Is it easy to get a job around here? It's fairly easy as long as, you know, like you show up to work every day and you're, you Damn. Know, you're dressed like for somebody. You gotta know people down here to get a job. I just tell you, if you don't know nobody you and you move down here, it would be tougher on you. Especially compared to city people, it seems like people here would be self sufficient. If shit goes down, people know how to fend for themselves around here. Yeah, they here. do. They really do. Would you Living say you you don't need to be for yourself. Yeah, I'm proud of being American. What do people need to survive around here? Like, how much money to survive a month? It's like the average about $2,000. Yep. So, what could be done to help people that are living paycheck to paycheck? <laughs> Bigger paycheck. Do you think people can live off of seven twenty-five an hour? Hell no. Hell no. What does rent go for around here? Three fifty to four hundred dollars a month. That's your average. And what's rich to you? Man, I don't care about being wealthy or rich before I die. You know what I mean? As long as you have fun. As long as I, you know, I got my That's friends. True. I it's agree. Shitting. All right. I Are you agree. proud of being American? Yeah, man. And do you feel like this country's going in a good direction? America. Yeah, it seems pretty fair to me. Maybe besides all the China bullshit, everything you buy has got a part that come from China or Japan. Yeah. So if you were mayor of the town, what would you do to make things better? Jobs would help. Getting the people that's that slinging true. meth and slinging heroin and shit like that, they need to be shot. That's like true. If you can get what do you want to a do? job you want to go drifting? making a decent amount of money, America will be straight. For All you. right. Hey, if you like one of the most poorest part, if you matter of fact, I ain't gonna say that because nigga, it's that's the poorest country. If you live in the most poorest country, how the hell do you make enough money to buy land, property, cars, gas, nigga, cigarette? How the hell is they? That's right there. Surviving, my now what we're looking to explore is how Him, the rising a job prices in of groceries are impacting people in their daily life. A lot of Americans have been talking about food it. prices raising all around the country. Has that impacted you and your family? Yes, a tell, lot. Tell me about it. It makes it harder for the working people. So 60% of Americans are paycheck to paycheck. Yes. Do you think that hits a lot of people in this town? Yes. We don't get food stamps or anything like that. You Damn, know, they, they could get them food stamps, stamps man. man. What items have gone up the most that you've noticed? Everything that's healthy. <laughs> what does it cost to feed your family a month? We have a family of five uh -huh. and at least around 1200 just for groceries for all of us. For the Damn. whole family. This is one of the primary places that people come to get their supplies. Yep, this Kroger and Earl Anderson's. So what's gone up the most that you've noticed? Meat, got more two anything. Stores. So 4 a pound. Even just three years ago, at Aldi I could get beef for one ninety nine. This is five pounds of ham. Yeah, and this is not even fully ham. This is fats and all kinds of other Ew. stuff put in there. So like bullshit much. ham. For 16, 16 bucks. bucks. That's why I can't mess with pork, man. It's too much. Next, Landon takes us to his friend Logan's house. 
So what's life like around here? Oh man, it's awesome. I mean, there's not shit around here. You can do what you want, you know what I mean? Like, we raise hell road, you know, life, life is hurting a lot. A lot of people like to keep like a lot of stuff. Like yeah. here it's like people can have like 15 cars yeah, in there yeah, long if they yeah. want to. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, you can see me up there. I like, I collect cars. You want to show us? Yeah, but we just take around those with this, with JDM cars, little Japanese cars. That's my old lady's cars. That's why I went out wide. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a lot of opportunities for young people in this town? No. As far as school system, you know, they do have a lot of opportunities. You have like auto mechanics class, carpenter okay, class. You can come out of there with certifications thing. and stuff. And so as far as our high school setting people up, yeah. As far as in the county, I feel like as a young person, if you're gonna have an opportunity, you gotta make it. You gotta be self-sufficient. If you see the yeah. people that are that are here, that I ain't gonna lie, that's really America. That's I I could see that with them being the uh, poorest country, but that's America in general, for real. If you wanna be uh self-sufficient and like you gotta you gotta make something or you gotta shit <laughs> that's just that's the american dream baby and they've got american all this stuff dream. you know they're self-made everything they got they worked for that's kind of what it is if the opportunity rises you got to create it it's what's there. rich to you but if you're rich you you've got what you want man if your ideal goal in life is to be happy and have family and go fishing every weekend yeah you can you're rich you know you what can, bro, you can be the look at them they rich in spirit. They ain't riches in money. They riches in spirit, meaning like yeah, they happy. They peaceful. They ain't even got to move out. They city to go be happy somewhere else. Cause they chill where they at. They ain't got enough money like that. They barely can afford food, but nigga, they happy. That's rich, nigga. That's rich right there. But you also got the other rich. You can be rich in money too. But are you really rich if you ain't got that? If you ain't got that richness in your spirit, are you rich? But nah, though. It depends on how you look at it though. If you got a hundred thousand, your bank account or a million. You're rich if you if you're just yeah. happy. Rich is having the lifestyle you want. Yeah, yeah really, physically it's, I'm it's rich. Really I've got, I got stuff to fool with. I've got good people around me. You know, we got in the middle. Rich of is going. lifestyle. I ain't gonna lie. When I when I went and I bought this camera, man, because that was a lot of goddamn. When I went and I bought this, and I had to call my bank for that uh, payment to go through, I was like, man, rich is a thing, nigga. You can as long as you. Go to work and put your money up, and you gonna be straight. But ain't nothing wrong with the other rich. Ain't nothing wrong with having you some money. But what you gonna do to get that money? Going riding, we come here, we bullshit party, we fucking work on cars. Yeah. When we fix the cars, we break them in a week. You know what I mean? So people in the hood, that's kind of hard. We gotta get they out just of got they they, they, they live with GTA like, so like so we want to make just pick up cars, and, just kind of and raise a family here. Like, obviously, this lit. is like a high poverty area, but it is a beautiful place and it's peaceful. People, I feel like, want to retire here, and then you've got some kids that want to stay here forever. You know, they don't want to yeah. leave, and yeah. you've got some that want to get out and come back, or you've got some that just want to get out and never come back at all. You guys want to go back here? You can look at that view back door. Do they have any power? Cause damn, I would I'd be all right living without electricity in my crib, but shit, I Why need. I was thinking about white privilege. I, got, I need the water uh, running. I gotta privilege. flush the toilet. Yeah, depending on if you're uh, born in a different economic class, because yeah, right here everybody's right here. equally poor. If we were to meet up, and when I was yeah, old, we all are like equally poor, poor when you think about you, it. Uh, I ain't even gonna lie. If you got money, you still poor because for one, we are in. Uh, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but we are in one of those situations where nigga, nigga, the economy, nigga, this is just dropping, nigga. We might be in the, uh, y'all know what I'm trying to say, nigga. The money dropping, nigga. The value of stuff going up. We, it's getting crazy out here, nigga. Even if you got some money, you really ain't got no money. Unless you got, 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 got. Got, 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 got some money, nigga. But other than that, nigga, even if you got some money, you it's tough, nigga. It's tough. It's Off inflation. Where, you know, I don't know That's that the word white I was privilege is going to necessarily you something more here. I feel like a black man here would have just as much opportunity because there's just no opportunities. You know what I mean? Mm. I've only so seen one Confederate flag since I I like how they look at it like that. It's, it's yeah. tough. It is yeah. tough yeah. out here to be a black man. The locals, that some of the people Shit. really struggling hey, hey. right now. Are to the people out here that want to be a black male, nigga, stop wishing because nigga said, if you had this opportunity, y'all, and you want to switch it back, cuz, you want to be like, damn, this is what y'all go through? See, that what y'all go, that's how you living? Sheesh. Can't even tell you how many times I got harassed just by having dreads. People living at the motels. Barely it's crazy out me. So we decided to go to a motel and get someone's store. So tell people a little bit about yourself or your story. Well, I grew up here. Lived here most of my life. Met my wife in Tennessee. Got okay. Three... Beautiful At least he done been out the city. It's a beautiful county, and now it's just not. I had to keep my 
kid. It was up. It was once up and then it went down. Where we yeah. live, there's a crazy woman lives next door, and I have to go Monday and get her for trying to kidnap one of my daughters. Oh, what, what the I fuck? I don't think she really knew she did it. Is she not all there mentally, or what's going on? Pretty sure meth has took over this county. Yeah, what percent of the town would you guess meth does meth? Probably at least 80. Can you tell people more about like the housing opportunities in the area, or even job meth opportunities? Meth is crazy on, on the down south. Job way, opportunities. Like me and my wife both have to work from home because in order to even make good money in this community, I mean, that's pretty much what you have to do. If you don't work from home, you don't get paid very well. What kind that's of job sad. from home do you got? My wife works for the Department of Defense. She does military insurance. She makes good money. I do tech support for Fairleigh Dickinson University. Okay. I love my job. If you get a job here, it's like at a gas station or something, or you've got people that just don't want to work anymore. Before I got this job, I worked at KFC. About every other person that you would meet in this county is probably, you know, either on some kind of drug or something. How easy is it to buy meth? <laughs> Which direction do you want to go? <laughs> it's that easy. Me myself, I'm going to recover. So I know a exactly blessing. which direction to go. Hey, at least yeah. he got How his life together. How much money people need to get started with some math? Ten dollars? Really? Yeah. This has been called one of the poorest counties in America. Is that something that people in the town, like, they're aware of or they yes. talk about? Yes, they understand that it's the poorest county in America. They literally are just like, well, you know, it's the poorest county in America, so why even try? What do you think about white privilege? What do you mean? White privilege means you have an advantage in life and your life's a little bit easier if you're white. Feel that way too. You are a white man in America. You have your rights, mm. and that's about it. There's a lot of tough living out here. I mean, a lot of really nice, kind, good-hearted people, but also a lot of tough living and drug addiction and poverty. And so, what are we about to see? I'm gonna do a little burnout. Oh boy, in the Scooby Doo show. Logan wanted to take us to the place where he had grown up that is now abandoned except for one tenant. Nigga, they still got a tenant? Who would live in that? People actually living here right now? There's one person. Why do they tear this place down? Oh, dude, it's fucking crazy, bro. Like, look at the way that this is. There's three more levels below this. And they literally just keep getting worse and worse and worse as you go down. That's where I lived at right there. Uh... It feels like it's about to collapse. Oh, bro, this is the best level. The best level is crazy. Why? I was about to say they better watch out for needles. They were they were never even good when I was a kid. You know what I mean? But you know when you're a kid, you don't care about stuff like that. These places are two hundred dollars a month. Two hundred dollars for that bullshit, nigga. That's my brother's sister. Really? Yeah. Wait, your brother? Damn! My dad is with her mom. Is she in the fire building? She's in the building with her. And she's the only one. That's right. the last she tenant? Because the roof on her, so she got with her. The roof. The roof? None of this used to be like this when I was a kid. This chair right here. Nigga, that's definitely living there for free. Where is she? What the hell is she doing? Yeah, I'm working on something. Tommy G just like chilling. He, he loves seeing what's in going on. Abandoned here. places across the street. So we interviewed one of those guys. This is what he said. Tell me about where we're at right now. Fort huh. County, Kentucky. How would you describe it? Uh, it's a small town. You don't have much in it, but you know it goes off a lot. Which Bro, is she still have? banging? Been working on this place for a long time. We're trying to rehab it. No, man. It looks like it's beyond help. It is beyond help. It's, it's definitely beyond help. Right that place, yeah, that place is alright. What do you do for money around here? Well, there's nothing much to do around here. So, how much do you Bro, how do they eat? I can make it off $100 a month. This has been known to be one of the poorest counties in America. It is. It's the poorest county in the whole state. Now, it could be one of the richest in this whole in this place, man, but you don't offer nothing. So, if you were mayor, what would you do? I'd be putting the jobs and opportunities. Everybody's leaving the county because they don't offer nothing. The state's Smart got the money to put it in here. They just don't want it here. This place has been hit real hard by the opioid epidemic, by meth, by a lot of different drugs. How have you seen that impact the community? Yeah, people get sick and not feeling good, and it just spread all over the place. Did you grow up in this town? Mm -hmm. How have you seen it change over time? The 
Where the hell he get a do motorcycle you from, bro? Get better? Now we do. I hope it does. What percent of people you he think here are unemployed? How about seven tenths. What percent of people in this town do you think are on some sort of uh, addicted to some sort of drug? About seven tenths, I say. So Damn, going seventy percent. Well, folks, you've got an inside look in Macquarie County poorest county in America. I think there's always hope. There's always something that can rejuvenate or regrow. Any final thoughts, fellas? Oh, man. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Shit, it's been a wicked ass day. It's been a good day, man. Hell yeah. All right, well, yee yee, <laughs> and have a good day, guys. <laughs> Peace. It, it, it just might be some hope in a city. You can't give up. You got to have hope all the time, 24-7, every day. Have hope.